I feel like they're filming my 600 pound life in the apartment above me. It's so loud all the time. And I don't ever sleep. There's someone new moved in. Look at my eyes. The problem is they're just loud because they're fat, I think. Because they just walk around loudly. So I complain to the office, but they're like, yeah, you can't complain, though, about normal living sounds, just footsteps. You know, because it's not like they're playing music. They're just walking like this. And I wake up and I'm hearing it and I'm angry. And that's why I have no energy. It really sucks, man. <laughs> Unless it's somebody moved above to troll and just stomps all day for fun. I knocked on their door and they didn't answer. I just wanted to see if they were 600 pounds or if they were stomping. Fuck, I'm so tired. I just want to sleep. Maybe I have to move out. I mean, what am I going to do? They're not going to kick them out for being fat. <laughs> what do I do, dude? <laughs> I woke up to the stomping again, but then I went up and knocked on their door and complained. And it wasn't a fat person. Which is crazy, because it walks around so loudly. It was a skinny girl. And I was like, what? Dude, I don't know. She walks around like this. What'd she say? You guys, she actually said, this, okay, I said, hey, I don't know if it's because, you know, the floors in these apartments suck or what, but I just hear you walking around all the time. It's really loud and I, it wakes me up. And she said, she said, well, you live in an apartment. If you don't want to hear any neighbors, just get a house. I swear to God. I swear she said just, too. <laughs> she actually, actually said that. Really, really, really. I promise. Alexa, make all the lights white. Try black. She can't make the lights black for some reason. Watch. Alexa, make all the lights black. It's not black. Alexa, make all the lights green. You can do anything but black. Did I ever read the emails when I thought about mentoring a streamer a few months back? Dude, all the emails were really bad. I actually, you guys want to see some of the fucking really ridiculous emails I get? I, I got, I, I couldn't believe it even. So ridiculous. How did he actually think this would work? Okay, here we go. I am deeply in search of a business partner. I do not want to waste your time. So here it is. With only 16 years of age, I cannot legally own an online stockbroker's account. Also, I am dirt poor. My family is not very supportive of my ventures, for they want me to spend the entirety of my time on my academic achievements, but I absolutely hate school. I rarely play video games now, though I used to play them addictively when I was introduced to you by a colleague. And as almost all of my time is spent studying for when I reach the ripe age of 18 and opportunities truly arise. Well, that was my plan until I remembered that you are a generous person willing to help someone in my situation. I used to think daily about when I would be able to trade stocks for my own, but whenever I think of your openness, the thought disappear because you offer something many can't. Money. I'm not sure if you're still doing financially well relative to other streamers and average citizen because of your game development, but if you are, please keep reading. If not, farewell. Have you heard of OPM? It stands for this great and amazing thing. Other people's money. Byron, I need your help. Please email me back whenever you can. I love your content dearly, and I hope you are doing well. A lot of people worry about you on a daily basis. Your dearest follower and prime sub, and then his name. <laughs> <laughs> he deserves it yeah but he told me as soon as he said if i'm not doing financially well stop reading farewell you know but if you are give me money <laughs> tongue twisters in different languages Sarah Shara Shir Sameach. Sarah Shara Shir Sameach. That's easy. Sarah Shara Shir Sameach.
I cvrči, cvrči, cvrčak na čvoru crne smrče. Kaka, kale, kakuku, kadogo, kako. It sounds like he's just saying kaka, kaka, kuku. Okay, sorry. Kako, kaka. That small chicken is eating your house, brother? Okay, wait, wait. Sorry, no, it's not. Come on. No, come on. It just... I didn't even look at what country it was yet. It was just all I heard was kaka, kaka, kuku. Come on. <laughs> Relax. Guys, you're racist. I didn't even notice the color of his skin. I was just listening to the words. Oh my god. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. A peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, where's the peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked? I want to try this one. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. A peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, where's the peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked? What did you say? Really, nigga? <laughs> Wait! <laughs> I didn't remember, I didn't know it would say that at the end. <sighs> oh, shit. <laughs> Reckful, someone sent me this email. Okay, this is to my YouTube editor. A letter to Byron. Okay, I've, I have not read this one. Hi, Byron. I am from Lithuania. Happy New Year. I came to ask you a favor. You see, my life is really hard as 16-year-old teen. Why is it? Why are they always 16? I live in a house in a small town in a small country. I live with my stepdad, mother, and me little brother and sister. My stepdad, he's he was a truck driver and he lost his license over one year ago. And me stepdad promised me mother that he would take care of me until I grow up. And that's why I respect him. But when he lost his job, he started drinking. Me mom has to raise three children and a stepdad who doesn't do anything but just sits around and wastes money on alcohol and it is a burden that mother cannot leave because they have a bonded mortgage of a home we live in. And in the past, this was a crucial point why me mom couldn't leave him when he abused her. When I was younger, I saw me mom cry. Okay, this one's actually sad. When I saw me mom cry a lot, but she still goes on and tries her best to keep the family alive. She tries her best to put food in the fridge, keep the house warm. She makes everything clean and still goes to work a 15 hour job for minimal wage to support the family. You see, the country I live in isn't a poor country, it's just that these things are common and they mess up lives. The house I live in does not have the functions that it's supposed to have, like no shower or running water. But you see, I am sick of seeing me mom cry because she can't go on for any more. I heard my mom speak about suicide and how difficult it is for her and she said that she couldn't do it because of the kids, my eight-year-old sister and two-year-old brother. I don't ask you for money to fix it all and make it go away in all the struggles. I want you to give me an opportunity for my future. I always loved computer games and social media. I have spent thousands upon thousands of hours watching YouTube, playing League of Legends and different games. It's my happy place where I can feel good. I'm on a stream playing computer games and just talk to people. I'm a kind person. It's really hard to ask somebody else to share their kindness, but I don't have a choice. My stepdad brought this, bought this PC for me with everything he had at the moment, but it just isn't enough to play any games while streaming. I don't have the right equipment for it. I'm not asking for your kindness of a Jewish belief. I'm asking you as a son to try and help me. Why do you like me this one, Hyrule? This was not funny. Fake story. I don't know, man. I, maybe people try to appeal to my emotions, huh? They're like, you know what? I'll just write up some bullshit. <laughs> Could be a real story, though. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> it's so bad! <laughs> in hindsight, what would you change about a game in terms of development or concept? Mostly just the people I initially hired. I would like look into their backgrounds a little more. Because uh, the, main, the main guy I initially hired, uh, you know, said he had a lot of game making experience. Uh, that guy, Zach Strange. 
and he had like this this resume but someone like looked into his past and apparently he just had like internships on those positions and it wasn't really like you know lead positions and shit it was a bunch of bullshit and got hired based on that and i got skamazed <laughs> i'm a fucking retard yeah i don't know i have i had a really trusting attitude and i didn't like do background checks on people or anything same with the curtains people i got scammed a lot of times in a row because for some reason i just trust everybody is he doing good though no he's fired yo. <laughs> he's fired <laughs> You were idealistic to build something with your community. It's naive, but sweet. Yeah, I was just like, oh, you know, these people are viewers of mine. They're not going to fuck me over. Even even some really old school viewers who like are always around the Discord and shit, who like were just casually working a tiny bit on the game, skamazed me. How? Um, just invoicing more hours than they actually worked, you, you know, on purpose. You guys, the League Bounty's gone. I was wondering if it was because I showed it on stream. So I asked, and they said, Definitely not. There was not any punitive action taken. There's a certain amount of budget associated with each bounty, so enough partners claimed and completed it to fulfill its requirements. Okay, so that's how bounties work. If enough people do it, like let's say League puts down a million dollars, and then as soon as people have used it, a million dollars of it, then it's gone. I didn't actually know that because it said it was going to be there till the 24th. So we missed out. Wait, what? Uh... Okay, I know they're saying something in Korean, but I'm going to go ahead and skip that one.